texture. You know about texture. You've learned about it when, since you were pre-K. Some things are rough and bumpy and hard. Some things are fluffy and soft and squishy. But did you know that we actually use texture in art? Yes, artists use texture all the time in their pictures. Implied texture means that you can't actually feel it, but it looks like it has texture, like rough or bumpy, smooth, furry, hairy. Implied texture you can't actually feel. It just looks like you can touch it. Actual texture is texture you can actually touch. Artists do this sometimes when they create paintings and they get the paint very thick. You can actually run your fingers across it and feel the texture. You can feel the ridges and the bumps in it. And I think you know who this artist is. Do you see all the dash, 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 dash? It's Vincent Van Gogh, and the title of the painting is called Blue Iris. A lot of times when you add texture to an artwork, it creates a 3D look. It actually has depth. It pops out like these branches. You can almost feel how smooth these branches are, and you can actually feel the ridges of the fan if you are allowed to touch the artwork, which remember you never touch pictures. This rolled up paper, they kind of look like roses or the kind of tortellini pasta, but this has actual texture that you can touch. And this one, you can see the flowers and the butterflies. They have actual real texture. You can touch the roses and the butterflies. Plus, they also pop out from the painting. On this artwork, it's obvious that it is 3D. However, each individual building has different textures. It would be really neat to see it in real life and be able to feel each of the textures. So even sculptures have texture in them, like this horse sculpture. You can see the different metals will have different feelings, different textures to them. And this horse sculpture will feel different than this one, because as you can tell, this one's made out of wood. But if you look closely, you can see this one has wood and metal in it. Artists love big. Big is always better. You can see these fluffy balls, right? They look fluffy and soft. But do you see how big these are? It takes up the entire room. So what do you think this installation or this artwork looks like? Do you think it's soft and squishy? Do you think it's hard and scratchy? If you were really there, you could actually touch it. If the artist says you can touch it. What about this one? Do you think it's soft and squishy? Or do you think it's rough and hard? Artists use texture all the time. It creates different looks, different designs, and sometimes the artist wants you to touch it. But always remember to ask the artist before you touch their artwork. Texture is all around us. Everything you touch has texture. And of course, artists use it all the time in their artwork. They have implied texture where it looks like you can touch it, even though you can't really feel the texture. They also have actual texture, where it is real texture that you can touch and feel the different textures. So as an artist, we use texture all the time.